Hello and welcome to this A3 mortar tutorial video in which I will be showing you how to use the mortars without any artillery computer. This is the first release of A, so things are bound to change or be added, so just a heads up. I will be using a UAV to spot the impact of the shells, just so you know. Anyway, let's get started. We can start by adding the two backpacks together, making a Mark 6 mortar. Make sure you place the mortar in the direction that you would most likely want to fire. The next step is to mark yourself on the map. This can be done using your GPS or by simply guessing, but it's quite important so that you can line up your targets quite well. On this session, I have decided to remove the digital compass as well as the artillery computer, so all you see is the elevation. Next thing you want to do is open your map tools. You can do that by opening the self actions menu and then go to your map tools. You must make sure you have one of those in your inventory, of course. Next, you might want to set your target. In my case, the target is a compound specifically targeted to eliminate infantry. You are able to rotate the map tools by holding control while dragging the mouse. Next, you want to remember the direction of fire or write it down or mark it on the map because eventually you're going to have to line up the mortar with the target. Next thing you want to do is figuring out the range to your target. If you don't have a direct field of view on your target, you will not be able to use a rangefinder or stuff like that. So in that case, you're going to have to use the map. You can align the ruler of the map tools with yourself and the target. In this case, every space between the numbers represents 100 meters. My target was 340 meters away according to this method, so I went ahead and checked it in-game by lowering the difficulty and putting a personal waypoint on the target. And what do you know? It was 342 meters. Pretty accurate. Make sure that your mortar is aligned properly with the target. You can be much more accurate if you use the digital compass, but because I didn't, well, I had to use my regular one. Anyway, using your regular compass, you can be more or less accurate. Next thing you want to do is open your range tables. You can do so by using the self-interaction key and making sure you have the range tables on you. Now you should check what elevation is in accordance with your range and make sure that you use the lowest charge possible for that range. The lower the charge, the less time the shell takes to get to its target. The next step is lowering or increasing the elevation. You can do so by pressing page down or page up on your keyboard. If you hold shift, you can reduce the cycle speed. And that's just about it. All you have to do now is fire. As you can see, I'm changing the elevation every time I shoot. That is just to cause some randomness and some dispersion. Now I'm going to switch back to my UAV and I'm going to observe the impact. That was spot on. You can see the little personal waypoint that I placed. One of them hit directly on it. Alright, this will be the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, please leave a like if this video helped you. And stay tuned for more Ace-related videos. Take care. Bye-bye.